Hey guys, and welcome to our review for I Am Mother, a special Tim Presents Woo! episode. My name is Scott Ellis. I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. Thank you. Not much going on in the box office this week, so we figured <laughs> let's dive it's... in, see if we can find a gem somewhere. The box office yes, is that none of us has seen before, which is the big one. Netflix original. Uh, also joining us, Phil Clark. Parasite's the best thing in the box office, right? It's the only thing in the yeah. box office, yeah, right? Yeah. So we'll There's a couple it. of Oscar Birds movies. Okay. Birds of Prey is pretty good. Right. Also yeah, joining us, Adam Franey. Uh, yeah, I, it's, I love it. I'm hyped. I'm hyped to see some, or talk about some I Am Mother. Mm. I'm hyped. Mm. Tim, can you give us a little synopsis of I Am I know it's Mother? Sure can. Right yeah. After an extinction event wipes all life from Earth, a girl is born from an embryo and raised in a bunker by an AI called Mother. Careful. Interesting. Interesting. No spoilers. Now, Tim, let's start, with, let's start with you. Yeah. Why did you choose I Am Mother as your Tim Presents? <laughs> Are you uh, a mother? What, no, what I've drew since, you to I've this I've been listening material? to some uh, podcasts lately, and yes. a couple of them, uh, I Am Mother was either like an also rand or on that person's like top ten of the year. Holy shit. shit. <laughs> Mr. Sunday Movies really likes I Am yes. Mother, so I figured yeah. I'd watch it. Anderson really liked it as well. It wasn't on his top ten, but he really enjoyed it. Really? Uh, so I was like, maybe I yeah. should check out this movie. I like sci-fi. Maybe they'll watch us. You think you kind of like that... Uh, kind of moon vibe where it's just you and the robot mm. it's like really single mm. location single person i really like that vibe so i was like let's try it out it's supposed it's to be good i've heard i've heard good things it's currently sitting at 90 percent. whoa yeah, yeah. So the average rating of like good. seven out of ten i think something like that. average it's pretty good that's should be a pretty decent fun little okay. movie very interesting yeah. interesting um let's start with you then adam what are your thoughts about <laughs> this film i am mother curveball eh should have been prepared for that. Um, I thought I Am Mother was unremarkably fine. Like, mm. truly fine. Mm. So. Interesting. Moving on. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I liked I Am Mother. You know, I didn't love it. Mm. But I didn't hate it. It uh, It's a movie that was made for Netflix. Netflix original, if you will. Yes. So, um I can see why you wanted to see it because it's right in your wheelhouse. The we got the single location. We got sci-fi. We got mid budget. I guess. Oh, it's mid budget. Very mid. I don't you think got the Weta Workshop robot. Right. The that's, robot is the above the budget I'm for sure. Is the robot. Yeah, I heard. I knew there was like something noteworthy about yes. it. Because I don't know the director. Has the director done anything? Uh, Directed like by it's... Grant Sputore, starring Clara Rugard, Hilary Swank. And the voice of Rose Byrne. And blew my mind. End credits. Saw Rose Byrne. Said, holy shit. Didn't even realize. She's great. Yeah, she was great. Um, yeah, I just... It's like, immediately, I'm, I'm like, okay, how does this measure up to the other single location, like, one human, one AI films that we've seen, like Moon, Ex Machina. Uh, definitely not there for, for me. <laughs> like, if for me, like, I feel like Ex Machina is probably the top of the mountain. And then Moon is slightly below that. It's still very good. And this would be below Moon. Like they, like I said, just fine. Uh, I'm happy it got made. Cause super rare that we get like original IP sci-fi. Um, I did. <laughs> is your stomach okay? That wasn't me. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. I'm good. <laughs> um, if you didn't pick that up. Um, yeah, I thought that uh, the immediately the robot looks amazing. Yeah. Like, Practical, I assume. It Obviously, was. It's a mix. It's of a mix. And yeah. Of course, when it's running, I assume it's CG, yeah. right? Well, there's some. Like, no, there's some. That's the real part. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Son of a gun. There is the a running. Guy there's a the suit. CG. Like there was a suit. There was yeah. a dude in the suit. So yeah, like yeah. when you see like slow stuff of like, like her like interacting, like daughter interacting with mother, like it's like a guy in a suit. Yeah. Are you Voice serious? By yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. They he was credited in, in, the, in credit. the credits as yeah. well. There's like, like seven actors in this, and he's one of them. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But like, there's certain that things that they like. Yeah, animated. the running is yeah. animated. Also, didn't see a trailer for this. Mm -hmm. Knew nothing about the story. So I fully was assuming that this main daughter character was going to grow up to be Hilary Swank. Like, mm. I did think waiting. that during the film. Yeah, like, they I'm like, look a lot of like. Is there a coincidence? A is there a coincidence that daughter looks like a young Hillary Swank? Like there is. Yeah, there I had theories going on in my mind while watching it. I'm yeah. like, oh, is this what they're doing? Yeah, I had not, no but... idea that. Is we'll this a spoiler? We'll get to it. But okay, um, we'll get into all that. All that jazz. Yeah, I thought I don't know. It just was like pretty styleless. I thought like it had that Ron Howard. Uh, <laughs> zero fingerprints on it 
like it had that Netflix original, mm-hmm. like unless they do a one off, bring in an auteur like Scorsese or um, Roma or Bomb Alfonso Cuarón, Bomb back. I like, guess like the editing wasn't snappy. There wasn't like yeah, anything like that. I don't know. It wasn't beautifully shot. Like yeah. this main set of the whatever you want to call it, the station that she's living in looked Bunker. good. And like you facility. said, the facility, yeah. I love a good facility. Uh, <laughs> Weta killed it on the robot. Like that looked amazing. Very Boston dynamic. Like <laughs> yeah. it was like Gladys from uh, a little bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah with the, with the circular mm-hmm. light. Um, yeah, but it, I don't know. It wasn't shot particularly well, like very standard cinematography. Like I couldn't tell you if there was a score. I don't know. I'm sure there was, but the score's pretty decent, actually. Is it? Yeah, it's like okay. synthy sort of random string noises. Yeah, yeah very, very interesting. There's some strings, uh, and I just I don't know. I didn't think the performances were like amazing. I thought Hilary Swank was. I mean, used this word a lot. Was fine. I thought the daughter was fine. I thought Rose Byrne was good. I guess just robot voice. Um, a lot of stuff. It's hard to talk about. A lot of stuff is going to be in spoilers for me. Mm-hmm. But initial reaction, I just. The needle wasn't really moved. It was just very fine. And I did predict, I have to say, the twist or explanation mm-hmm. at the very end. I'm going to do it. But I was There's like, a few different things. Yeah. I'll, I'll be into. specific when we get there. But I'll, I'll jump in. I pretty much agree with everything you said. <laughs> like, very fine. Um, Make something up that you don't agree I, with. I you wish, I think they tried. And we'll get to it in spoilers to, to do something a little different with sort of the twist at the end. I will say that there was an attempt at some memorable, so they tried something, I will say that. But for me, and we'll, we can talk more about it in spoilers, for me, if you if you do that, like right at the very, very end, <laughs> it ha- doesn't have as much impact for me. Like the, the rest of it, like leading up to it was, I don't want to say derivative, but it definitely was... Was gathering elements from like different different movies, you can say like derivative <laughs> elements elements of Alien, elements of yeah. Terminator, elements of like yeah. a Matrix prequel maybe or something like yeah. it's like <laughs> you know it, it it's it's sort of combining elements of all of those and obviously like Moon you know all all, moon. all those movies right very yeah. moony very yeah. moony um, very moon esque so it's just you know because it it wasn't really giving anything new wasn't bringing anything new to the table until like maybe like right 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 at the end like if if there was a bit more of of that sort of a bit earlier you know to give the movie more of that different flavor i totally agree with um you. Yeah. it might have been more successful but that being said like it's a totally fine movie like there's nothing yeah. like egregious about it uh, I agree that you. i can really like <laughs> point out like this is terrible um i mean i guess there are some p- parts I felt like, um, and I always feel like this sometimes, like, characters are withholding information just for mm. the sake of the plot. Like, yeah. Hilary Swank, like, withholding information from a uh, daughter. It's just like, to say, like, just have a normal conversation, <clears throat> like, this is what's happening outside, or, or whatever, you know? Instead of, like, like, withholding all that information until, like, it was important to the plot of the movie to yeah. tell it. Yes. Um, yeah. That that always kind of bother, kind of bothers me because they have lots of time to talk, you know what I mean? It's not like they didn't have time, but um, that that aside, um, yeah, I thought all the characters uh, actors were fine in it. Um, the robot looked great, uh, Mother. Um, like I said, very Boston dynamics. Like because when you see like Fair you can tell it's inspired. Like when you see yeah. those videos of those robots like running and like jumping and shit, you're like that's terrifying. And they kind of like took that and like amplified it. And, like, kind of made it a bit more terrifying. So when you see, like, Mother, like, running in the movie, it's, like, it's, like, very, it's, like, shit, is this what the future is? Like, it's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, a combination of GLaDOS on, you know, Boston Dynamics. A little like, chappy. Yeah, Sprinkle a little some chappy, chappy vibe. in there. Yeah. Yeah, the shape of the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, overall, I don't have a ton to say <laughs> beyond that. Um, wow. I did so really like the sort of, like, embryo like yes that whole like sci-fi part of it like it looked great yeah and i'm like i kind of i'm looking at it, i'm like that actually looks like it would work like that actually looks like yeah. legit yeah um so i don't know i thought that was pretty cool but uh let's jump over to you tim what are, you, what are your thoughts i don't have a whole lot to add i think i agree solid movie 
nothing outstanding in it. You have to uh, love but it. Yeah, nothing terrible it. in it. It's just it's pretty much I think they made the movie that they wanted to make. Hmm. I heard it was on the blacklist of, of yeah, screenplays. Yeah, 2016's place. blacklist. So like, it was an interesting premise, yeah. and then this like director for hire kind of took it on. And yeah, I definitely think the it could have been um. Uh, I don't know, more original because it is very derivative of, especially a moon with something that happens or something's revealed. I'm like, it's mm. very moon esque. Mm. There's like multiple somethings. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot to add. The robot is look great. I love that character. That mother was awesome. Yeah. Definitely yeah. scene stealer. Best character, best performance. Hilary Swank's not great. Thank uh, you. She was bad. Thank you. The kid was fine. I was being generous when I said Hillary Swank was fine. Yeah. I thought she was kind of bad. Yeah, she's bad. Um, and I definitely, was she was bad. Yeah, I was scared. <laughs> definitely, was budget Thanks, Tim. was blown <laughs> on the facility and the robot. Which oh, was great! Because outside, oh, I they know shot was... on some practical sets or is that no shots. Way. There's no well, way. Hold on, is that spoiler to say that we see outside? I don't know. I don't think so. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's it's in the trailer, I think. You see, okay. there's some, there's like one above headshot of like some black sand where they're walking. I'm like that Ooh. looks. They're obviously filming there, but then whenever yeah. it's like on the people, I'm like, this isn't this is bad looking like background. When they walk up to that hill, oh, what hill? Look, <laughs> the hill's not there. Man. Yeah, it's, it right. looks terrible. They get to the and then there's a, like right. some cargo <laughs> things just dropped in the sand. I'm like, clearly they just have like a picture of sand and they're just like MS painted like a. Those cargo thing straight, and like, we'll just, like a ship Tony Hawk pro skater yeah. uh, <laughs> map yeah. designers weird <laughs> there's like a shipwreck yeah and it's just like, but obviously it's just, bu- it's just bu- it's budgetary reasons is why because they spent so much money on the robot which looks yeah. amazing it's weird. that's yeah Phil, let's jump over here. What are your What are your thoughts? Big okay. old echo chamber I here. <laughs> here. Um, I will say <laughs> I think I liked it less. I think I liked it slightly less than you guys. Um, I saw it like midweek last week like whenever we talked about seeing this movie i think i saw it like the next day you don't remember so it's very unremarkable to me like like i always think of adam's cheeseburger analogy like (laughs) out of thousand cheese this is like not a good cheeseburger to me like it's not a great one um yeah just didn't it's It's interesting it's like a whopper it has all the it has all the components to make it interesting it has so much potential to be interesting and like unique and original and it's it's just not it's just I can't believe I didn't use it's, the cheeseburger analogy. Yeah, yeah. thank you for it's, it's, it's this. This is the perfect. You should use it every week. Fit. You should use it every week. I wouldn't like to. Yeah. I'd like everything to be a steak <laughs> with lobster and like gourmet. But I, I just didn't feel invested. Like at mash. the end of the movie, I'm like, oh, mash. okay. Mash. This is a baked potato. Cool. Yeah. Not fully loaded. Yeah. <laughs> just with empty. Actually. Butter only, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't. The robot is butter. Didn't have any like investment at the end. I was like, mm. okay. Is <laughs> the, we're done, right? Like we're, I can leave. Like it just. I, that's that's the point of making a movie. Yeah, you watch I, it and then you. I walk did. Away I agree with you guys. Um, robot looks great. Obviously, Hillary Schwank didn't like um, Rose. <laughs> Schwank. Schwank. Um, <laughs> I will say the interior of the facility or the bunker looked amazing. Yeah, like that whole that was that that scene. Was the cool. orbs for the little embryo. Yeah. that was awesome. That was cool. I agree. That I visual effect. I didn't really know what was going on at the beginning because you see, there like a robot is putting stuff on to mother, and then you realize there are the heating pads. I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. Like, those oh, really to like, like hold the yeah. baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice I didn't work. get that. Yeah, I was that's like, cool. that's so cute. I didn't get it at the beginning, but I, was I didn't like, get oh. that till right now. Yeah, like orange glow. Yeah, because I'm like, what are they putting on? And then it was. Like, and it's like, oh, that makes sense. They're in yeah. the cold. So I, like that. I, I thought about it. I liked a lot of the thought. earlier stuff a lot more than like the second and third Me thirds too. of the I movie. Agree with that. Um, but yeah, overall, didn't mind it. Don't think I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, it was okay. Yeah, the first act was great. First act was All right, really let's good. let's give our ratings. We'll get to some spoiler talk. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna say this is a three to five. Oh, yeah, moving three as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three out of five. Yeah, the old <laughs> echo chamber. She's a three. A cheeseburger. A lot of uh, <laughs> dissenting opinions here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, fair warning if you haven't seen I Am Mother came out uh, a little while ago on Netflix. So oh, yeah. check it out if you haven't. Um, 2019. So you've been warned. We're going to talk some spoilers here. Spoiler. Um, what do we want to start with, guys? Um, I'll say... Oh. Twist. <laughs> we'll get to the end. 
please take the. It's you presented it. Do you you know your twists or what? You are um, yeah. So you mentioned earlier the kid looked a lot like Hilary Swank. So I was like thinking the whole movie. I'm like, okay, Expecting so either to like to pay off they're just like clones of each other, or that's, mm. that's like mother. That's her mm. actual mother. But mm -hmm. I'm like, that doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they kind of alluded alluded to the to issue that, with the. So it's a Netflix film. I think they would have gotten away with this in theaters because it tells you how many days it's been. Mm. Like 13,000 days. Mm. And then the kid's it. only like 14. So I'm like, that math doesn't add up. Yeah. So King. in a theater, I want to whip my phone out and do my calculator. Uh, I did the same thing. I'm, I'm like, 13,000 days, I'm like, divided by yeah. 365. Like I'm like, that's 35, 36 like, years. I'm like, yeah, that's weird. Oh, Something's definitely off here. So then when Hilary Trank showed up, I'm like, Okay, she's probably from the facility as well, because she's like that roughly that age. I'm like, all right. Uh, that's <laughs> cheating. Yeah. That's I did you the cheating little yeah, bitch. Cheating guy. When you said I pulled my phone out, I was like, I did the literal yeah. exact same thing. Did you really? Immediately, I was like, that math is not. I saw out. the number and I'm like, that's pretty big. It seemed like a pretty big number, but I guess that's you know what is that? Yeah. 15 years? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, did I didn't. Not, I didn't double check. Yeah, it, I was. I was like, okay, like 10 years probably. That looks like 10 years. I, brain. Initially, I was like, yeah, like it just it flashed by. I was like, 13,000. I was like, okay, that's like you know a thousand days. It's like three years. I'm like, okay, so and then it's like she's 14. I'm like, thousand days, Fuck. three years, 13,000 days. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like I did kind of have this feeling like during the movie, like is the whole like extinction event thing like. A, a kind of like a misdirect like, yeah yes i think in a lot of movies that's probably what it would have been yeah Cause a lot of movies is, is like that be like oh there's actually nothing wrong outside oh, there oh, has been <clears throat> a little cloverfield yeah. lane esque yeah yeah, yeah. With like the no you're not going out there i'm telling you yeah, yeah it felt like yeah. that at the beginning where mother's like oh it's like contaminated and all this stuff yeah. which i guess was was a ruse like we can talk about what yeah. can what we happens talk about it? Yeah, so what happened was, like, Tim. the robots Presented. killed Tim. all the humans, right? Or specifically, I think this one like AI Matrix. consciousness has, like, killed all the humans because like Matrix, like, they're like, uh -huh. you guys like are fucking with the planet. It's like Terminator, basically, mm. right? Yeah. Like, they the robots... exterminated the virus, which is us. Yeah. yeah. And they were like... And then they started it. For the best of humanity, it's right. best that we just kill off everyone that's fucked up the planet. We'll just kind of raise you guys to be the perfect human instead. Right. Yeah. And now, when I said I predicted the twist, if you will... Like when Hilary Swank enters the movie, and then Mother says, <clears throat> "Excuse me, Mother says, like, oh, do you forget like your final exam is today?" I immediately was like, "Okay, so she's part of this exam." I'm not gonna say like I knew exactly what was going on, but I thought Hilary Swank was like in on it, like she was mm -hmm. acting mm -hmm. and just like kind of feeding daughter this story to see how she would do like the test at the beginning when she's giving her the the options for the doctor right i thought this was like a, a you test. know a real version of that yeah like your practical or whatever and um but it was i liked the whole thing of how like mother was like playing chess with them and she had hillary swank go there you know and do all this stuff but like, was it like knowing. Did Hillary Swank know she was part of the test? No. I don't think so, right? That's what I'm saying, no. So, like, she was just, like, what, genetically engineered to, like... She was have a, the... a daughter, and mother let her go and be taken in and plan this 38-year exam. Do you guys think that she is a clone? Because she looks like... Like, it's yeah. the same embryo, right? Uh, yeah, I think it has to be. To Tim's point, like... Or twins, and the one was raised, like, immediately, and the one... Like and I noticed that shot when they're like looking at each other through the glass. Yeah. And there's like the one panel and they're both, I'm like, mm. It has to be. I didn't figure. That's what I felt like they were the same, like they were cloned every or and something. And daughter's yeah. like number she's three, older right? Version. So it's yeah. like, that was she number one. one or two. Or and then two was the one we found. In and I like that it, I did like that it paid off yeah. of her becoming the new mother and, you know, taking over for robot mother or whatever. Do you guys think that's like, like dystopian ending or is that like I don't think it's a, a positive end. end is it I don't know it's, don't it was know. a weird ending it was like she's gonna raise this child like that's a good thing right but then also like I'll say I felt nothing that, that I yeah absolutely I was nothing. like how was I supposed to how was I supposed to feel here like I like, picked up my converter and turned the TV off and came here like I would almost be happier if like she took the her brother and like escaped and was like, I'm gonna make my own way in the world or something. Yeah, that would not make more be sense. dictated by mother. I thought that's what she was doing. Yeah. Like when she shot, shoots mother, and 
goes with the brother. And also no point in shooting mother because her consciousness is everywhere. Didn't like, understand the point it. Doing this then. Didn't it was like symbolic. I, I thought she was going to shoot herself. Fun. And maybe they would like introduce like, okay, mother feels for her. So she was going to be like, I'll do it. And then mother would be like, no, wait. And then like shut herself down or something. I don't know. I feel something. like there was a lot of different ways you could go at the end. Yeah. And yeah, it had zero impact on me the way they went. Yeah. They're like, like they're... spoiler for Ex Machina, like, well, whatever, that the elevator at the end. Yes. Devastating. Devastating. Yeah. And the like, score blasting. Nah! <laughs> yeah. As the elevator door shut, I'm like, no! <laughs> yeah. In yeah. this, it's like literally nothing. Yeah. The movie ends. Like, Change yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instantly gone. Yeah. It was one of those things where I was like, oh, that's dark. And then I was like, okay. And then, like you said, close browser. <laughs> oh. Close browser. Yeah. That's some there shit. There wasn't any, like, I wasn't, it didn't stay with me. It wasn't yeah. like, I don't know, like, a lot of those, like, Alex Garland movies or whatever, you know, like, yeah. it stays with you, right? Haunting endings, usually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alex like, Garland. I wish this had an Alex Garland ending, you know what I mean? For ending, you know years mean? to come. I, like, I wish it had one of those endings, but it didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, there's not much else to say, spoiler-wise. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Like, I almost Sorry. wish there was a mine. Since they're the most bland movie. <laughs> like, I wish there was a mine, and there was, like, a colony of people, and there was yeah. something there. There was some... I thought it was pretty bone-chilling, I will say, when the mother bought, like, just shut the door on the mm. cargo thing. Got straight up murder Hillary Swank. <laughs> and did Hillary Swank. I was like, okay, Very cold. true. Yeah, I was like, damn. True? That's, guess you're... I felt something there, I guess. You don't mean anything to the plot anymore, so... Yeah. Bye. She literally says that too. Yeah, like story almost like work. someone had a use for you until now. Yeah. <laughs> almost like the plot of this that was movie the, that was the screenwriter. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we had a use for you until now. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Squash. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, I think that'll do it for our review perfect. of I Am Mother. Tim, where can people find you? Uh, people can find me on Letterboxd at UpRealTim and on Instagram at the Craft Pundit. Find me on Letterboxd at Wicked Swami. Find me on Letterboxd at UpRealAdam and Instagram at UpRealAdam and Twitter at Franny25. Find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at UpRealScott as well. If you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And, as always, keep it real.